This is Chad with the iPhone blog and I'm here to show you log me in ignition for the iPad. So you can see right here we have the log me in ignition app. Comes in with your login information. I simply tap to log me in. Then gives me a list of my computer. So that's my Mac and uh, my mother-in-law's PC which you can see is currently offline. So you just tap the computer that you want and it'll take a second to load. It'll give you some nice hints here. So as you can see, you can pinch to zoom, one finger to pan and move the mouse, double tap to slide and drag, so on and so forth. There's a fair amount of hints, so I always like to leave them on. And then there you have it. I'm looking at my, my desktop Mac. That's actually the review for this uh, post that you're reading that I have up in Safari. I have Aperture up uh, underneath it. And all I need to do is I can pinch to zoom, and that'll allow me to move around the screen. You can see my cursor is right there. It's really tiny. And I can scroll up. I can move around. Uh, I can click on a tab. So if I scroll over to the right, I can even go to Tippy. And you see the Tippy page will, will load in its entirety. And of course, if I keep scrolling down, I have access to my dock. And on my dock, I have all my applications uh, here. So if I wanted to open up my calendar, I can tap on that, bring up my calendar for the week. I can always go back and go to Safari. So you can see it works really, really well <clears throat> and really fast uh, on the iPhone. Over here, uh, brings up your keyboard. Uh, you can cycle up top with this button here to cycle through your different keys. It's this little guy there. You can also have your control, alt, and command keys as well and hide the keyboard in the bottom right. You can also uh, bring up your uh, command tab and command keys here. And over here it's defaulted to left click but you can change it to right click. You can always hold down two, key, two uh, fingers like that and you see you'll get a right click automatically just by by tapping, which is great. Uh, get you your right click. Uh, you can tap this to zoom in and out. And then you have your settings, which you can see over here you have color quality, resolution, network speed. Uh, I have those set to the compressed, which I mentioned in my review, uh, 1920 by 1200, which is the standard resolution. You can lock the keyboard in place. You can choose what scroll mode you like. And I choose mouse moves. And you can change this actually to screen moves, which is my preferred method. And then you can see that now when it moves, it's a lot faster. Uh, it's much quicker and easier to move around the screen. So I can make things really big and flick around much, much easier with that option. Uh, when you're done with your session, you can simply click the uh, little X and end your session. Oops, I must have missed it, sorry, in session. And uh, it'll disconnect, and you can see a list of your available computers again. So, again, this was a uh, log me in ignition for the uh, iPad. Phenomenal product, super fast. I highly, highly recommend it.